For all our wind farm developments, we undertake an EIA, an Environmental Impact Assessment, and the purpose of that is to understand the significant effects, the likely significant effects that may result from the proposed development. As part of that, we undertake assessments across a range of topics, and these include things like landscape and visual assessments, ornithology, ecology, cultural heritage impacts. We work with a range of consultants to undertake those assessments. Each of them is a specialist in their own right in that particular topic area. And the purpose is, is just to do a detailed baseline assessment to understand the environment and then undertake an assessment of any significant effects that may result from the development. So the Lethens extension is interested in the fact that it's um, adjacent to our consented Lethens wind farm. It's an extremely forested site, so we're actually keyholing turbines into the existing forestry. We're not clear felling, which means that we have to take great care in terms of the design and where turbines are placed to um, minimise the amount of forestry that we're felling. We're trying to utilise as many of the existing forestry tracks as possible and utilise the gradients on site. So where we have very steep gradients, we avoid those as best as possible because it involves a lot of supportive works and additional um, ground works to to accommodate that gradient. So for all our wind farm developments, we undertake at least two years worth of survey work. But for Lethens Extension, we already benefit from the work that was undertaken for Lethens. So it enables us to have a better understanding of exactly what's happening in the area and any ecological and ornithological impacts that may result from that development. So when we look to develop a wind farm within forestry, we look to minimise as much as possible the amount of felling that takes place. Obviously with it being a commercial forest it will be felled at some point but not necessarily as soon in the in the programme. It may well take place quicker because of the wind farm. So in order to minimise felling we look at keyholing, so putting turbines within clear felled areas within the commercial forestry. We look to utilise the existing forestry tracks it may well involve just some felling either side of the track to get a, a, a reasonable corridor for the components when we're actually constructing the wind farms. And, and equally it's important from an ecological perspective that particularly with keyholing that we take account of protected species, so for example bats. We do detailed bat surveys as part of the development and, and preparing for the planning application. But that's taken into account as well in terms of the size of the keyhold areas that we need to fell to make sure that we add in enough um, bat buffer distance so we don't impact upon those protected species.